Makai Becton shares his secret to his body transformation. What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I want to get into Makai Becton sharing how he went into and how he went about changing his body. Before we get started, Matt O'Leary and why on socials. Don't forget the Just Jets podcast. New episodes drop every single Wednesday. You can call in and leave me your questions. So one of the biggest storylines from this past offseason, aside from Aaron Rodgers and some other big ones, but Makai Becton has come into camp uh, and just come into the offseason looking totally different. And that is a fantastic sign for Makai Becton. And uh, the New York Jets recently put out a video of Makai Becton talking with their digital reporter. And this is the quote that he had to say. I had to change the seats at my metaphoric table and I revamped everything. I got a new trainer, a new agent, just got new everything. For someone who's really had a bumpy ride in the last couple of years, I think that's a wise decision because you could debate all day long whether... Makai Becton's at fault or the Jets are at fault for some of the issues. And I think probably the truth lies somewhere in the middle that, you know, from the Jets perspective, I think they were unfair um, in a couple of places. Number one, the original injury timeline in 2021 when he gets hurt at left tackle uh, and they just said, hey, a couple week injury. And then he misses the entirety of the season. Like I always thought that timeline was a little unrealistic. Uh, and I think they put unrealistic expectations on him for that and then not listening if that's true that he was saying that uh his knee he was in pain uh with his knee before he got hurt at training camp last year from makai's perspective he hasn't been perfect either but i do think that you have to give him credit for you know the work ethic that he's shown you know coming back from an injury the not only just the physical toll that obviously it takes on a player who missing two straight years. You work hard to come back off an injury and where you miss pretty much the entire 2021 season. And then in training camp, you get hurt and, and you know, you're going to miss the entirety of the season. Like that's really brutal. Uh, that really stinks to, to see for Makai and he's, you know, trying to make a comeback and I'm rooting for him. I think that the jets are a better team if he is out there playing and playing at a high level. And, Based on what we saw from him as a rookie in 2020, which is now three years ago, but uh, there was a lot of signs of promise there. And I don't think he'll be playing left tackle. That's a debate that's you know going to be had. Uh, it's been had a million times, and it's going to continue to be had throughout the offseason into training camp. I think we'll have a better idea in just a couple of weeks, which is really exciting. But I can't wait for the training camp and the season to get rolling. But uh, specifically with Makai, I think... If he comes in, he has a real shot if staying healthy that he can play and play pretty well at right tackle. And AVT, Makai, Becton, right side of the offensive line could absolutely be nasty in the run game. I don't care if Brees Hall's back there, Izzy, Michael Carter, Bam Knight, whoever. Run to that freaking right side of the offensive line. I think that would be uh, an absolute home run. But good on Makai Becton for... Honestly, maturing a little bit. I thought I, I think he's been a little immature at times. Not all, not all the time. Uh, not the entirety. Again, I don't think the Jets are 100% blame free, but uh, it, it takes you know a, a little bit of maturity to realize that you're doing something wrong and having to make the changes. And Makai's doing that. And to me, that shows that he's taking his career seriously and that he wants to come back and he wants to prove people wrong. And I hope he does. I really hope that he does. And who knows? Maybe he does win the left tackle job and is the Jets left tackle for the next 10 years. That would make life significantly easier if that's the case. That's what we should all be rooting for to happen. And I'm rooting for this kid. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I am Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time.